I feel super connected to love. So Katy Perry went to space, not for climate or environmental or even humanitarian reasons, but to float around and say, space is finally going to be glam. It's very important to know that there were lash extensions. Now let me be very clear, these two ladies are totally exempt from my rant. This is very much an environmental rant. They went on Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin Rock, the founder of Amazon. He made his billions and billions of dollars through exploitation of people and planet, almost single-handedly destroying wild spaces and boiling our climate. But so many people are saying this is different. This rocket runs on hydrogen. It's sustainable. But let's talk hydrogen, shall we? Less than 1% of hydrogen used on Earth is green hydrogen. The vast majority of the rest of it is something called grey, or sometimes blue hydrogen. And that is made by a methane steam reforming. Does methane sound familiar? That's because it's a fossil fuel. The process of making that hydrogen emits between 9 to 12 kgs of CO2 per kg of hydrogen. Rockets use liquid hydrogen, and liquefying hydrogen takes a breathtaking amount of energy from fossil fuels. If we compare that to something like kerosene, which is your more typical rocket fuel, that emits about 4 to 5 kg throughout its entire life cycle. Methane, which is the newest star, between 3 to 6, but it's still a lot lower than green hydrogen. This focus on hydrogen being the silver bullet, just so far off where we are really at, it's not funny. These guys are burning high emission hydrogen to do a 10 minute zero gravity selfie mission. It's cool of what it is, it was a marketing opportunity. It's backfired spectacularly though, I'm so stoked to see how many people think this is disgusting. Less stoked to see how many people think that the hydrogen aspect is good because it isn't. 